Thanks for all the subs and stuff, man. A lot of people today. Um, I'm going on my voice actor arc chat. You may have a big forehead, but at least you got hair. <laughs> I'm balding like crazy. Nine months swag. Lizzy. I've done two, two things this week in terms of voice acting things. Big number time. Very excited. I'm just going to leave my hair back like this. I don't want to deal with it. Um, What projects? You'll see. on your face at chat asking for seabat makes me which i knew what it was kekwapi 16 months streamer ah, my cock my antidepressants keep me up all night but my anti-anxiety medicine makes me sleepy so i'm just coasting every day and coffee fucks me up cancel they don't cancel each other out like math or whatever <laughs> yeah i don't know yet i don't know what side effects yet we'll see Sneak finger. I don't know. I'm just happy to be a bit calmer and feel less like a car going 80 miles and no with their brakes broken. You know what I mean? It's like that. It's like that movie from a long time ago. I forget what it's called. But somebody puts like a bomb on a train or a bus. And if the bus goes under like 75 miles an hour, it explodes. Yeah, speed. It's like that. Ah, my car. Currently doing it's like the bomb got Wally diffused World and I can hit the brakes finally. <laughs> Pretty relieved, yeah. I'm excited to see where it goes. What happens in the movie though? They diffuse the bomb. chat and streamer rig currently pinning bugs while watching stream it's a lot harder than it looks oh content yeah man you guys want to watch some let's watch let's watch watch watcher watch watcher watch watcher sound good hey where the hell is my steam de my stream deck? I don't know where I was where the button was gonna get pressed. Yeah. Ghost Files, episode one. I'm excited to see this. We've watched a lot of their uh BuzzFeed stuff together, so I wanted to share the first um the first ghost files with you guys at least. I don't know what I want. Wait, hold on. Look at Boomer. It's like a little polar bear. Have a good day, y'all. He's so when I cute. Heard you're watching Watcher, I flapped my hands so hard that I hit them on my chair. Nice. Expect a hospital bill in the mail anyway. Here's five dollars. What? 
My bad. It's probably pause alerts, yeah? Yeah, maybe not. We'll see. We're back. Where's my tanning? You please step back towards the bone, please. Oh, I have frost. First time we were here. Well, you're a little scared, guy. Did we do something to upset you? I'm just a slightly less scared guy. Oh, okay. Shut it off. I fucking hope I see a ghost. Who the production? Oh, ghost videos past. See ya. Wow, Ann. Do you hate me? Is that how it is? My content's bad plus ratio? Yeah, the production values already seems crazy. Oh. Welcome to Ghost Files, where we take your evidence and our tools into the field to expose the supernatural. It's back. My partner, a skeptic. Myself, a believer. Both of us, truth seekers. This week, our team travels to Louisville, Kentucky to investigate Waverly Hills Sanatorium. Okay. It's cold. It's as cold as it is horrifying. <laughs> We're certainly painting the air with our breath right now. And you're gonna paint those hallways with your... Feces. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna rub my doo-doo all over it. It remains imposing. It does, it's quite the... Where thing. is this place? <laughs> well, let's get in there and get dirty, huh? There's a, a comical amount of windows here. <laughs> yeah, so right. many opportunities for me to have a heart attack on you. guess you're that ghost, it sounds like yeah, a dog. A series premiere. Yeah, series <laughs> premiere, series finale. <laughs> Waverly Hill Sanatorium was built in 1910 to treat patients of tuberculosis, and over the course of its lifetime, oh. would eventually see approximately 63,000 deaths within its walls. With so many succumbing to the painful disease, Not very good at it's it, no at wonder all. that the spirits of some patients might remain today. Sort of a happy place though, right? Actually it was. They treated their patients quite well. They didn't really know a lot about tuberculosis. Who could have? It's a crazy thing. You start coughing up blood? It was a problem. We got our own little fun thing that we're dealing with here in 2022. Very fun. I can't what? imagine what it would have been like back in the day when you had to, you know. What, what are we dealing with? Catch it from a horse back then. I don't know how it worked. Well, I don't think that's how it happened. You kiss but... a horse, you get TB. That's got to be some science. Well, that wouldn't be an issue for me because yeah. I'm not kissing horses, but yeah, for you, I don't, I mean, I guess me. it's hard to find people. <laughs> I've seen Equus. You're height. Jim, the I gotta get sits tested. on an isolated <laughs> hill overlooking the Ohio River in Kentucky. Don't say Mr. Hands. Five stories Stop that. Tall with over 100 Stop. Bad. different rooms. Enough Bad. to accommodate more than 400 patients. Believed to be more active the higher you are in the building. No. We're going to be starting from the ground up. Wrong. We've also placed cameras and audio recorders in two of the more active parts of the building in hopes that we catch activity when we're elsewhere. One on the third floor said to be haunted by a ghost named Timmy. And another Timmy. on the fifth oh, yeah, floor classic. outside room 502. Bro, if you're gonna make up a fucking ghost, ghost story, the you name the, the fucking ghost kid Timmy. Like literally, that's so basic. Long tunnel referred to as the body shoot. I've been there before. I hated it then. What a basic ass Why ghost kid name. Place I ever been a scare. Ooh, oh, Timmy the I ghost. <laughs> yeah, I do. I remember. heard a little frog. You know why do I remember that so vividly? Oh, it's because you left me down there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And finally, to end the investigation, Shane and I will each be forced to explore the entire sanatorium one at a time. Well, Are you sure excited to get back well. out there? I am. I've been ready. I've been stocking up with new <sighs> gear. I'm gonna catch a goddamn ghost. You are, and I'm gonna be there to film it. And with that. Our investigation begins. You like that little vote of confidence? I did like that. That's for you. But the investigation already began. Oh. All right, let's just take a second here. It's been six years since we've been here. Should we reintroduce ourselves? We're back. And baby, we're better than ever. Nailed it. This time we got the tools, honey. Is that our new catchphrase? I don't think so. We'll have to workshop that. Hey, this place looks freaky. Our first room is the morgue. Due to the fact that some records have since been lost or destroyed, estimates vary, but the number of deaths at Waverly Hills Sanatorium range from about 50,000 to 65,000 individuals. Why were they and so determined alert, about the 63,000 in the intro? This room. The amount of activity in this place is evident by some of the stories we received from you, the audience. Jess Porter reported her hair being tugged. 
Sydney Owen saw a disembodied arm touch and move her friend in the morgue. And, and, oh my God. Sort of like a, not like a. <gasps> no, I don't think you quite understand. Pushed like him. an arm by itself, like a floating arm. Just, yeah. I'm a push I'm a him. If I saw a disembodied arm push. Yeah, you'd scream. Of course, I'd be very scared. I'd love to see that. I, I want everyone to know I'm going into this series yeah. with a thirst for evidence. And I hope it's quenched. Yeah, I'm sure you'll get it, I man. I quench it. I want to see these ghoulies. You're saying you're- Show me the ghoulies. You're saying you're very open, but it's in a, it's in a very threatening tone. So I am cool. open. I am receptive. <laughs> what else have people seen here? I'm glad you asked. We have more in this room than just anecdotes. Allow me to introduce our first audience investigators, Deanna and Mark Erskine. Excuse me? One of the things that I submitted was an EVP actually captured from my husband, Mark. While our friends were posted up in the lobby, I decided to do my sole investigation in the morgue. I laid down on the body rack with my EVP recorder. That is terrifying. For the next 10 minutes or so. It wasn't until the following day when reviewing our evidence that we discovered what seems to be the sound of a woman humming. Look at us tools. We gotta play uh, How convenient. After we left, we all of a sudden oh, had some evidence boy. that we didn't hear when we were there. You ready? But now all of a sudden there is it is there. Clark, you want help? That sounds like a man. <laughs> Did you hear it? First room, baby. We're back. The morgue is a fitting place to begin. Exactly. <laughs> I remember this place. Yeah, I mean, I've been in very few morgues in my lifetime, so yeah, this place rings a bell. So obviously Deanna sent us an EVP of a lady humming in here. Yeah. See if we could get that to happen again. Can't be hard to get a hum. Ghost guy, I mean, come on, just a hum, you don't even have to move your lips around, just give it a <laughs> If you could hum a tune, can you hum Yankee Doodle Dandy for us, please? I think that's probably the one song they knew back then. Take it away. Are you hearing that? Yeah, a little bit. Are you hearing that? The hair on the back of my fucking neck is standing up i mean it could have well been a, a car outside somewhere but it did sound like a sort of a low tone somewhere in the building <laughs> i certainly heard something there i mean do i think it's a ghost no do you yeah Holy, yeah i'd say if i were someone who believed in ghosts I'd be a little unnerved right now. I'd probably get the little shaky knees. I down my my back is too. Could could you whoever was coming, could you come again, please? <laughs> Beep. Poopy. Okay. Well, I'm really glad we didn't hear anything on that one. Tell you what. Why don't we move to the spirit? Maybe there was another. What really? Yeah. Tell you what. I swear to God, in between you talking there. Kind of sounds like a it. creaking Thank pipe. God. I didn't hear it. <sighs> fucking first room. Fucking first room in this horrible fucking building. Let's move to the spirit box. Maybe we'll get some. Yeah, let's move to the box. This is the perfect place to it's test a ghost? my new spirit box yeah, okay. amplification system. Oh. Word uh -huh. on the street is it's called the honey tone. The spirit box rapidly scans radio signals to create white noise through which spirits can communicate. Shout the out! Tone filters yeah! out the noise while amplifying only the voices. <laughs> so, I'm gonna fire up my device here. This will help you speak to us. Now, Shane, Ryan, here's what you normally would hear in the past. Yes. Cheers. Yeah. Now watch. Oh, I like anything that makes the spirit box quieter. My name is Ryan. This is Shane. Can you say either of our names back to us if you want to communicate? That's Ryan or Shane. How convenient that it picks and chooses. Ooh, there's a little flute. That's nice. A little Nintendo Wii flute right there. Boop, 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 boop. Can we hear from the lady who was caught humming in here? No. I didn't catch that. Can you say it clear, please? Laura? Is that Laura? I'm sorry. It's gonna. Have, we're gonna have to have one. 
Oh my God. We're gonna, wanna? We need one person at a time to speak. Laura, let's start with you. Why are you still here? Why did it go so quiet? The, the power bank turned off. Oh shit. The ghosts fried it. They fried my machine. My ghost machine. It's a fucking bastard. I'm sorry, Laura. We lost contact there. <laughs> Why? Sorry, I lost you. Bad signal. Ugh. She don't sound happy. Laura, do you have any words of wisdom for the children of the future? Can you tell me the name of the it's room? It's like we're less in? distinguishable. I don't like it like this. Say morgue. That actually kind of sounded like the morgue. I'm not gonna lie. The room we're in. Say morgue. That actually kind of sounded like the morgue. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Well, we're gonna go in it. So if there's anything. What? So we're gonna go in a second. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't know why you're so upset. Did we do something to upset you? I mean, I guess. Jesus. Ooh, okay. oh, shut it off. What, what, what did he say? <laughs> I don't know. Well, that was incredibly unsettling. I'm happy. <laughs> like it more than the I feel like I can't box, hear anything with that one. Scary energy. And that's about to play. It's a great pause frame. <laughs> <laughs> the dogs want to look out this window next to me, but I'm worried because the power cord for my entire setup is right there. Um, I don't know. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Ah. Yippee, six months. Birdie wide people happy. And is ordering food. Monthly reminder to Prime. It's been 11 months. Yeah, monthly Prime. reminder. Actually, daily reminder to check if your stream notifications are on. Twitch did literally anything on their website, so it reset people's stream notifications. So when you buy the follow button that you already hit because you're already here and following, definitely. Check uh, that little bell symbol and make sure that stream notifications are turned on. Because uh, for some reason, a bunch of people's stream notifs got turned off. So make sure your stream alerts or your stream notifications are on. Look at that little bell by the follow button and make sure that you get notified when I stream, yeah? Keep going. Energy to them with this machine. I don't like this room. I'm gonna say it. The morgue? Yeah, Shane, I don't like the morgue. What's your issue with it? You know what the morgue? weird thing about it was? Is I felt like bad in yeah, the morgue. Yeah, bad vibes. Yeah. Okay. What the fuck you feel bad doing? in the place where dead bodies sit? 
Our Can't imagine why. is the second floor sun porch. For many years, treatment for tuberculosis was the very scientific prescription of rest, fresh air, and sunlight. Yeah, air is good for the body. Wow. <laughs> Have you tried sitting down and breathing? That might help you. <laughs> well, you know, you don't want to be in a Manhattan breathing mm. in a bunch of horse dung Never thought about exhaust. that. But it is eerie to be in a building where you know probably 50% of you aren't going to make it. Yeah, I guess that's kind of like elderly homes though, right? I'm talking about like imminent, like this I was... Mean, Tell you, my grandma's Jesus seniors <laughs> living center. It was they were flying out of there. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you'd think it was a race. Nice place to hang out, chill. Nice little sunroom. If I was a ghost, I'd probably hang out in here. This would be my spot. If I, I hang out here and get some sunlight and breathe some air. Consequently, patients spent a lot of time outdoors, over a place to rest Help in front me. of open windows, even in the winter. Why does it sound room, so easy to breathe? captured a startling piece of evidence. We were walking around on the second floor when I got serious chills. Like the hair was standing up on my arms. My mom and I had been taking pictures the entire evening Real. and it wasn't until later I was Real. showing them to my friends and one of them was like, hey, um, what's that? So when we brightened up the picture, I was totally freaked out with what we saw. Is this the face of a former patient on the sun port? It looks like a spider. Does not appear so. Let's see. Why would? What do you mean that by fart? No, that was a fucking noise. That was a fart. No, that came from down there. Are you fucking kidding me? That was no, not a fart. That came from down there. Because I, I'm surprised you didn't react to that. Because I thought you farted. No. Maybe that's what the jack o' lantern face was. Ghost flatulence. It was. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Did the... <laughs> Sorry, guys. The sound <laughs> operator farted. Well, Braxton, we'll see if we could use our tools here. <laughs> magical toys. That's Not actually toys. really funny. That's actually really funny. Now you're probably wondering what this is now. Ryan, tell me about the REM pod. Well, I'm so glad you... <laughs> he was just sitting there like... Ah! <laughs> they were like... <laughs> the REM pod creates its own circular electromagnetic field and will alarm when anything penetrates that field. The more colors on the alarm, the more significant the intrusion. The REM pod also detects Ooh, penetrate the field. So about, ooh, I'm getting pretty close. You have to get pretty fucking close. The device I'm holding in my hand is an SLS cam. The SLS cam uses a grid of infrared light to recognize human-like objects in front of it, even in complete darkness. Okay, but how do you know that literally, how do you know that ghosts adhere to any of these rules? <laughs> well, that's funny. <laughs> it's probably winding down right now. Ooh, what's going on right here? I don't see anything. I see your stick figure, but I don't see anything on the... For whatever is down here, if there's anything with us, or if there's anyone with us, rather, can you get close to that doorway? Can you can you make that uh, little glowing circular thing sing? How about one of you just follow, come towards my voice? And by doing so, we might get some activity on the REM pod. Maybe be a shadow person if it's too hard to be a corporeal body. Just be a, sha a shade. Can you demonstrate some dancing near the REM pod, Shane? I'd like to, so I can see the bone. The, the I'm starting to think you just like to see me dance. Well, remember, Shane, this is the first time we've seen this device. Oh, yeah. Well, his dancing is actually wow. the camera confused. <laughs> I could see him in the IR camera. The REM pod's actually like really digging it. He's like a vision. A round of applause almost. Oh my oh, God. shit. Oh, your oh, ass might have made it going to over. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes. I'm going to start smoking over yeah, here. Yeah, going to start smoking like a fem bot. Moving down the west wing. Careful. The, floor, the next area we'll explore is the elevator shaft. 
In the 1980s, when the building was shut down, the building fell victim to disrepair and often was inhabited by transients or youth looking for a spot to turn God's grass into sweet clouds. What does that in mean? one tragic instance, it said that a transient man and his dog were found dead in the elevator shaft. Just that is also one of my fears. That you'll fall down an elevator shaft? Yeah, that thing where in movies and TV people, you know, step into the elevator and they're like, well, I'll see you. Whoa! Like the elevator malfunctions, not that there's nothing in the shaft and they fall down like Wiley e. Coyote. No, you fall down like Wiley e. Coyote. You walk into it, or you hold there for like two seconds, and then you hold up a sign that says, Yipes. <laughs> Oops. That's how I'm gonna go. Like I've had visions of this. Some believe his spirit haunts that area to this day. And it's near this elevator shaft that James Ashenden captured some truly shocking evidence. Oh, I bet. This photo was taken around the area where the elevator shaft is. I was just snapping photos with my phone. I didn't notice it at the time, but um, went back afterwards and was having a look through, and this was the one that had the cleanest detail. Is this possibly the apparition of the ill-fated man who fell down the elevator shaft? You seen anything? I'm not capturing anything on the photos. So, Obviously, other than the man that was found in the shaft, they also found a dog. Yeah. And they got a little trigger object here. Come get it. Are Come you on, serious? Dad. We got a bone for you. It's right there. Dog love a bone. Dog love a bone. You better get it, dog, otherwise I'm gonna get after it. Does a dog understand what you're saying? I don't fucking know what I'm saying. My name's Ryan, can you say my name back to me? No. I'm a dog. Can you tell me your name? I mean Bark. Can you tell us your dog's name? Can you tell us what happened to you? How's life street? How about this? Oh, Jesus. Whoa, what's going on? Is that you by the pod? Step away from it if it's you. Oh, shit. Okay, if that was you again, could you please step back towards the uh, bone, please? Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Uh, step away now? Can you step away now, please? Step away from the bone! Okay, that's, you understand yes and no then. Can you make that turn on for yes? Did you get pushed down the shaft? <laughs> the way the hey, camera hey, guy hey, stands up. up to that thing and touch the bone! <laughs> the way... <laughs> Why he look like that? <laughs> ass out. Camera down. <laughs> Camera down, ass up. <laughs> hey, 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 you just walk up to that thing and touch the bone. Talk to a ghost dog. Guy, so we have another way to maybe communicate. Wouldn't it be crazy if there was something in that bone? We're going to do something called the Estes. That they could method, move. Estes method. Instead of using a speaker system for this spirit box, I'm going to be the speaker. So I'm going to put headphones on that are noise canceling, and I'm going to say whatever I think the spirit box is saying. Meanwhile, you're going to be asking questions that I can't hear. Oh. And if you hear a response that's compelling, pretty good. And you don't have to get annoyed by the ch -ch -ch that you love so much. I actually like this. I like this a lot. All right. It's me. I'm talking to the spirits now. And you can use my little buddy over there as a antenna. What's your name? Incredible. Bit cocky. What are you doing? Scare me. Scare you? You're a ghost. You should be scaring me. Typically how it works. Do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh. Booga, booga, booga. <laughs> no, I don't know what to fucking... <laughs> I'm just here to get a picture of you on my iPhone. What was the name of your dog? What was the name of your dog? Steve. Your dog's name was Steve? Okay. What did Listen. you say because you were falling down the elevator shaft? Ja Rule? <laughs> Odd thing to think about in your final moments, especially when you preceded him by a handful of decades. Question. Real. Okay. Uh, what is that? Uh, this is a an Osmo. It's a sort of like a gimbal. A vlog Fox. camera yeah, thing. Sorry, I've seen it before. Osmo is be. What the fuck are you doing, Osmo? Don't embarrass me like this. God damn it! Not in front of the ghosts. Any last words uh, that you'd like to impart to us as someone who spent their final moments screaming as they fell down a dirty old elevator shaft? Not the way anyone would like to go. 
Christ. I guess he had it worse. You're right. He did get pushed off. Oh, okay. So that happened to you then. That could have been Kristoff. I'm not sure if that was pushed off or Kristoff. Why wouldn't it, they include Hitler? the audio that oh, no, Ryan's no, hearing? Let's stop it there. Uh, I don't think Hitler has anything to do with this. Wait, so did anything actually make sense? Sure, some of it. Yeah. Maybe it's, it's maybe he is. Oh, maybe Jaw Rule has to do with this. We yeah, that was weird. It was pretty clear, one. too. It was a pretty clear Jaw Rule. Huh. Hey, what'd you think of the, the whole little new spirit box session? I'll be honest, you found a way to make spirit boxes fun. I like to hear that. I had a good time with that one. That's good. That's the Ghost Files difference. You know, that's all I want for you to have a good time. Oh, thank you. And maybe not be a dick all the time. But, well, you know. I want maybe to they find can't good record evidence. it. Thank you. Do you hear that? He wants to believe. I do want to believe. Open that door for him. Very and convenient. Shove him right through. On our way to the next room, this happens. This is the third floor right here. What was that noise? Did one of you kick that? No. That wasn't one of you? No. Do we, do we know where it came from? Down here. No, like down there. Okay. I thought you guys kicked it. No. I don't know what that could have been. I mean, it sounded like oh something. Oh my God! He fell out. Fell he fell down the elevator bridge. shaft again. Like Those his bones. I'm also seeing up here. You know, I'm not just trying to debunk this. I'm just. Trying, I mean, no, you should try and debunk it. Uh, I'm just saying purpose. there's a lot yeah. of uh, you know. Not again. Walking the stairs and there's a lot of loose wall here. I'll so. tell you what. You stand right here. Okay. Tell yeah. me if anything moves under. Yeah, I mean, there's some little bits coming off, but nothing that would have made that sort of noise. Oh my god, even Debris, if you will. Alone. You don't like it, huh? I don't like it. Love that. God, I'm just like, my heart is like legit pounding thinking about later. <laughs> I'm like, gonna have a heart attack. The next part of the building we'll explore is the third floor, where it's said that a little the boy named floor. Timmy will roll a ball back to you if you ask Boy, him. buff, In it's fact, me, on my Timmy. previous show, I actually had <laughs> my own encounter. Oh, I remember Timmy. this. After tossing a ball yeah, down the, the ball. hallway, I heard it bounce away into they, yeah, the they, distance. I forgot, we did see this one. Surely, it went silent. The ball did not come back. When I finally found it, I discovered to my horror that the ball had landed directly under my name, spray painted on the wall. It's sort of Joe Pesci like when you do that. Yeah, when well, we're in the beanie. I mean, and, and, and just so we're covering all the bases, mixed messages because it also did land beneath a, what did it say, 420 and I, blazer. And I, I love pot. I love pot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna do a little pot. Maybe Timmy's chill as shit. <laughs> well, here we are, back at the scene of the crime. Yeah. Arguably some of the best evidence we've ever captured happened right here. I don't know if Timmy was not chill like that. This is a ball that we use, but it's, it's a white ball. Does it have to be blue? Was that one of Timmy's specifications? I don't know if he's particularly liked blue balls, but... Not many people do. That's true. In this very hall, Caitlin Dodson and Marion Burgess came across some very interesting evidence. We were taking pictures throughout the whole tour, and we took this photo in the sunroom. During the picture taking, we didn't really notice anything, like any noises, but... We did notice it later when we were looking at the pictures the next day. Could this little boy be Timmy? Whoa. Could this blurry got, stick oh, figure Look, it, it looks like there's two be a child? Can you see that? Yeah, it's just our IR it's lights. It's just our IR lights, though. Pretty, oh my God. pretty sick, though. All it's right. like the devil. Here we go, Timmy. Just snapping some photos. Don't mind me. Real. If he's in every single goddamn Real. picture. Well, then I would be fine. Holy shit, there's a face right there. <laughs> what if he's in every single goddamn picture? Well, then I would be fucking thrilled, and we would leave. So far, nothing, Timmy. Well, we couldn't catch you on camera. But now maybe... we gotta get the net. <laughs> now we gotta the get net. the ghost net. I hate that it comes to this, okay, but I'm Fred. taking you back to Los Angeles. <laughs> Timmy? Timmy? Pretty. Your favorite, I wanted to say brothers, but that felt weird. I feel like Timmy's brother. Yeah, Timmy, your favorite older brothers are back to play catch again. People really loved seeing you on the internet, Timmy, and you- Oh, there's a blue ball. That's a big one. Timmy's doing some kickball. You know what? You want to use that one instead? No, we'll use both of them. Okay. Because I'm curious if, he, if he's like, no, I only play with the blue ball. I mean, at a certain point, you just throw, you know. It's... Oh! What? What the frick? <laughs> Oh shit, the tarp, the tarp. Oh. <laughs> the tarp slammed against that frame and scared the fuck out of me. I would love for you to toss this back to me, Timmy. Remember, we're pals. Here, you go. Here we go. Season premiere.
What the fuck? This isn't a blue ball. The deja vu of this is crazy. That's the only kind of ball I like. I'm gonna jump off that one. You're done for. <laughs> that little balcony right And there. I'll watch you. Timmy? Timmy. Okay, Timmy, I'm gonna toss this nice blue kickball that I know you love. It's your favorite color. I'm going full FIFA on this fucking ball here. Yeah, dude. Why Send the fuck back. do we know that Billy like or Timmy likes blue balls? I did that was a not a great really poor kick. Not a great kick. Alright, now that's what I'm talking about. Alright, Timmy. I'd love for you to send that back. Why do we know he wants he likes the color blue? How do we know that? Can we go find the ball? Yeah, I think we ought to. Why don't you go by yourself? <laughs> huh? How convenient would it Timmy? be if somebody on their intern team was down there oh, and put the ball by Ryan's name again? Who made that noise? Was that you, Timmy? Where'd the ball go, Timmy? Where did that ball go? Timmy? Tim? Here's the white ball. They're right next to each and other. Here's the blue ball. Blue now, ball? If anything, now I'm really white impressed ball. that we got the ball to land. Mm, really nice. It looks like there are little prizes for them. What was that noise, though? Five months, let's go. Yeah, mute alerts. Yeah, probably. I really do hate it. Not you, Timmy. I don't hate you. I just hate your. You're getting to be Sounds much. Like you hate Timmy. Thanks, though. I, I appreciate it, guys. Boy standing here. Woo! Thank God. Oh, I'm so happy. To Wait, see it says you, Rick. The the thing on the wall, not myself. I love pots like right there. Oh, is oh, it on the wall? Another blue ball. Another blue ball. Whoa, this place. Blue this, balls this, for days. This, this the fuck blue was ball that? Paradise. For us. <laughs> Look, where's another? The the thing. Oh, Ryan's on the other on side the wall, of the wall. Not myself. That's not something I say in the morning. Okay, but it's by the Rick. It's by Rick too. So like, it's really not that. Coincidental then. It's by a different name too. It's like, oh, we, we won't include that. So like, we won't, we won't put that. We won't mention that part. Look, there's another blue ball. Another here. blue ball. Oh, this place. Blue this balls is, for days. This is a blue ball paradise. <laughs> yeah. Do you think we should throw the ball? This poor more hospital. Here, I mean, what? nothing different is gonna. Poor happen. hospital's gonna go. bust. Here we go, Timmy. <laughs> I like you snagged something out there with it. I'm sorry if I threw that forcefully at you. And for anybody who may be in this hall. Excuse? What? Just so we're clear, I'm gonna go find this ball, and I'm not talking to anybody that's on this floor. I did not throw that at you in anger. Where'd that ball go? There's, There's like five or six people with them. Dude, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this. <laughs> well, unfortunately, you're gonna have to, because this is your fucking job. Well, I don't know. I think uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. Yeah. Well, you gotta. Later in the night, our stuffed bear device programmed to ask pre-recorded questions got this response in the Timmy Hall. fifth and highest floor of the building, believed to be the most active. Starting in room 504, this room was believed to be Can a you finish this? back in the day. It's worth mentioning that there was also- Can you finish this? known kid ghost running around Waverly that apparently goes by the name of Bobby. Bobby? Bobby. That's gotta suck if everyone is always asking for Timmy and you're a child. Children get, you know, they get jealous. Yeah. And you're like, I want to play too. What's wrong with you? Well, I'd be annoyed. I'm trying to can't put myself in Bobby's ghost. little shoes. I can't, so can't wait till Billy the ghost comes Easter out. Island statue? <laughs> well, I'm just imagining if I'm walking the halls or floating or whatever they do, they <laughs> treadmill it. Billy. Yeah, moonwalk. Someone's like, Timmy's balls this, Timmy's balls that. I'd be like, what about my balls, you know? Yeah, what about my balls? Bobby's got balls. I'm sure Bobby does Show have. us your balls, Bobby. Excuse me. I figure a kitchen previously filled with snacks is as good a place as any to look for a kid's ghost. And it's here that Joanna Mackins caught something to really chew on. 
On the fifth floor, while the tour guide was explaining all about Notorious Room 502, I was feeling something strange in Room 504. So I took a series of photos from the doorway, and the next morning, I was pretty shocked to find this unexplained shape. Could this ghostly child be Bobby or Timmy? Bobby, there's a candy bar right there for you. Okay, Shane. I'm gonna take some pictures. Actually, could you take some pictures? Sure. Let's try and see if, <laughs> don't get too close to it. I'm gonna freak out. Uh, go to where uh, Mark is. This is the old kitchenette. Bobby, are you here? Uh... Okay. That was a little freaky. Yeah, let's get the kitchen. Where's that? Where's the kitchen? This is the kitchen here. This is the kitchen? Well, look. Remember. Whoa. I mean, I wasn't near that, right? No. Bobby, if that's you, can you get closer to the candy bar? <laughs> okay. If you want that candy bar, go ahead and take a bite out of it, or just get close to it. Oh. Let me grab my SLS. Streamers on Twitter. Bobby, I'm gonna ask you again. Can you get close to that candy bar? I again? have no proof. Or anybody up here, Timmy, if you want to come up here, you could also take a bite of that candy bar. Get near it. <laughs> oh, just a bite of the candy, candy bar comes out of everybody. nowhere. <laughs> just candy for Bobby, candy for Timmy. Real. Oh, shit. Uh, oh my God. Can, you, can you make it go all the way up to the to the per? Can you get even closer? Can you get even closer? No? Bobby's like, never mind. I don't like three musketeers. Jimmy! It's, it doesn't react to sound at all. Hello? No. Ah! Ha, 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 ha. Bobby, once again, can you get close to that candy bar? Looks like we're trying to catch Yogi Bear. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> The next room is one of the more notorious in the building, as it is believed to be haunted by a woman who once served as the head nurse, who tragically ended her own life. Allegedly, the young nurse had gotten pregnant out of wedlock, and presumably, the father was not in the picture. Local legend tells that she died by hanging herself from a light fixture in this room. Adding further pain to this room is another nurse who died by suicide after spending time what is this working photo? with 502. Yeah. In this case, she allegedly jumped to her death. What the are room. these art references? Still unknown. All right. This is the place where we spent the night last time we were here. This Wait a minute. How come all of our emotes have been turned into Halloween emotes? But the Tanties emote hasn't been replaced with the Halloweenies. Weenies, whatever it is. Birdie, what'd you do? That? Huh? Hannah, what did Birdie do? Birdie. Birdie, go. 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 It's a bad girl. Go. Go on. Birdie's in trouble. She's been chewing things. Oh. Trying to hide. Yeah, she's in big trouble. I can't believe we slept right there. Pretty wild. Maybe that's why it's so eerie in here because that was such a horrible memory. Somebody caught a figure right here. 
Oh yeah, she's chilling. So I was on the fifth she floor at Waverly chilling. and we had gone into room 502. My chest felt very weird and tight in there and a lot of my friends shared that same maybe, sensation. Maybe because we you're stressed out. We went into the next room 502 and I took a picture like going through the doorway out into the hall and I didn't see until we got home but I had captured a figure standing where the nurse had allegedly hung herself. Could this be one of the nurses that tragically passed? We're good. Oh man, the day though when I swiped one of these and there's something there. That'll be a good day. I'll just crush my phone. You wouldn't do that. You want to. Yeah, you I'd want, want the evidence. I'll airdrop it to you. Yeah. Then I'll crush my okay, phone great. because it's haunted. We're going to pull out a little thing called the spirit box. I'll meet you over by the doorway of 502. Are we just doing a regular spirit box? We're not doing it. Never heard of it. Box. Oh, good. You got to say, say I don't care what they say. If it's funny, if it's not funny. I'll say whatever I you hear. You say, I I'll need say, to say. I'll say what I hear. Not to me if you're going to take the exercise seriously. We're professional you ghost hunters. You can't fucking Listen. nod. Listen, we're professional <laughs> ghost hunters now. Yeah. This series is a new leaf. I'm a, a changed man, and I take my job very seriously. Yeah, they always see it afterwards when they're reviewing <laughs> the footage. Those babies on. Let me see what I hear. All right, here we go. Like automatic. Amber. S snooker collector. My name is Ryan. Can you say my name back to me if you want to communicate? Guys, crack. Crack. There's rumors out there that you may have not actually done this to yourself. Is that true? Yes! Oh my god. Okay, so it's not true. Oh Ooh, my god. Got chills up my spot. Uh, what happened then? <laughs> Dudley! Oh my god. You took your own life right here, but there was rumors that you might have been involved in an unwanted pregnancy and that perhaps this isn't exactly what you wanted to happen. Beefcake! What? Maxine! What actually happened what to you? What are right your here? thoughts? What are my thoughts? I'm trying to figure out. Chills! What right Chills! Tongue. It's real! <laughs> Tongue me. Why? Excuse me? What? Wait a minute. Annie! Did we is that your name? Is Annie your name? Not the footage? Not the recording? Is there anybody else up here that isn't one of the two nurses that people often ask? Hey, about? yo. Little boy! <laughs> Little boy! Little boy. Which little boy is up here? Puddle! There was a little boy caught in room 504. Somebody sent us a photo of him. Human! Human. Can you tell me why you're still here? You! Huh, me. This is your chance. He's doing really? so loudly. Human! Yes, really. Yes. Add, hold on. Clean. Can you tell me why you're still here? You! Huh, me. This is your chance. Really? <laughs> Gonna scare the ghosts. Yeah, it's like fish. You make too much commotion in the area, they, f they swim away. <laughs> so true. Yeah, I don't know why he's so loud. Beefcake! We turn. Beep, 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 beep,
my neighbor's dogs is barking and i was like i i didn't know our dogs were out there did you see it on the left side of the door frame barely visible <laughs> Human! yes really yes what happened to you come on i have to leave deborah deborah Classic. shane shane boys huddle Okay, you have 10 seconds to say Deborah something moment. that explains Proof! why you are still here. Laser! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. All right, we're gonna leave. Mo! Johnny! Millions of dollars! Are you, did you get anything? We did get some kind of cool stuff. We okay. got also a lot of nonsense, but we did get some cool stuff. I, I much prefer this method. You look like an insane person. <laughs> it was really nice. I love this. We should start doing this method out in the park. Now, if you'll recall, activity seems to ramp up the higher you go. But I lied, since the most horrific area in the building is actually below ground. The body chute. Why is it called the body chute? Sad you asked. I I it's called that because it would be disturbing for the rest of the patients I to see the bodies. I lied to seem intense and appealing. Knew. So the staff at the sanatorium created a system to I covertly transport it. the dead to the outside. That system was this 500 or so foot underground body chute. Are they like bobsledding? Are they luging down? Oh the no, slide? they're not like tossing the body down the like the slip and like, slide. Shoo! No, but they are pushing a gurney down, and I just realized with it being like it's such a dangerous <laughs> trajectory, they really have to like lean yeah, back. That's I'm imagining. There's had to be at least one instance where they just let it go. And, uh, or they were just like, <laughs> all right, let's just <laughs> rolling down. Like, how did he die? Oh, it was a respiratory illness. Why are all of his bones broken? <laughs> Why does he look like he got in the ring with Rocky Balboa? <laughs> I don't know. I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> those really beat the shit out of him. How does it feel to be returning to this place? I'm not excited to go back down here. That was I awesome. I actually never thought I'd be back here. If place. I had to pick any place in my life that I wouldn't expect to be twice. It's here. It's the body shoot. And I hear the echo. We're about to get shooted. Oh, yes, we are. Dude, Excuse. I forgot how ridiculous this reveal is. <laughs> yeah, it's oh real. my god. <laughs> Fucking hate this place. And oh, I'm once boy. again reminded that this was a silly decision to restart this career again. Ryan, <laughs> Ryan walking around with this whole ass fucking iPad like a shoot. gun. There's no telling who we may see down here. There is an infamously sad ghost with chained and bleeding hands and feet that howls in pain, who screams and runs from those who rush to her aid. Others have spotted a ghost known as the Creeper, described as a shadowy dark figure crawling along floors and walls, a ghost that some suspect might be a yeah! demon. I mean, it's beautiful. No, right? it's not. I mean, it's kind of nice to be back here. First time we were Holy here. Holy fuck, like we were Minecraft. Little, little scared guys, little wimp. I'm just a slightly less scared guy. I'm a creeper. No, you're Minecraft scum reaper. Yeah, you're going to find more of it down there. Dan Bull's just in the distance, like, boom, boom, boom. I can't stop saying this bloody tune, tune, tune. Audience investigator Anna Rogers <laughs> definitely made contact with something. Do what I want to move aside, mama. My parents were down there and they had a suicide bomb that was lighting up like crazy. So my dad started recording while my mom started asking questions. They didn't hear anything at the time except for some loud clanging in the background. But when they played it back later, we could hear some super clear voices. You ready for this? I'm very ready. Are you happy that we're here? Will you talk to us again? I would love for you to make this light up again. It's pretty fucking good. There's actually another EVP clip there. Does anyone want to talk to us? It's lighting up the Okay, now go to the very Will end of the hall and barely talk. Oh, yes. Can you make a noise? Look at Shane trying to not laugh. Can you try really hard to make a noise? Whoever is down here. Oh. <laughs> could you please communicate with us so that we could prove our friend Anna and, you know, myself just, you know, aren't liars like Shane is claiming we are? I'm not saying you're liars. I believe yeah, that Anna believes. Kind of like indirect, a roundabout way. 
you're giving us a reach around in the sense you're calling us a liar that way. I wouldn't say I'm giving you a reach around. Excuse me? Because I don't want to encourage. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ryan. I'm Shane. Can you say either of our names back to us to let us know that you would Go like to Go down the chute. Go down the chute. I have a device here that allows me to hear very well. Penis. Cock. Say anything or give us a little tap on the shoulder. Balls. We love you. I don't know if I'm there yet. I love you. If you get real deep, I'm so scared about this. I love you. Oh, yeah. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. What is happening? I love that. Is there someone down there? Someone down here? We just put two like glowing eyes yeah. in post production. I... Uh, no, that's not what we do. <laughs> that and was a test. That was a test. And you well, passed. this is what you think Anna is doing. Test. We're coming down if there's anything down here. So strap up. <laughs> Ghost, oh. Ghosts blush. Well, my blushing. name is Ryan. I'm Shane. Can, can you say my name back? Not there yet. Come on. Take me on a few more dates. Come on. Is there a glove? Did someone just get whacked here? What? What was that? Can you say your name? The ovulus takes environmental readings that spirits are said to manipulate, such as temperature or electromagnetic fields, and converts them Interrupt. into corresponding words New moon. or phonetic sounds. Based off of what? Based off of what, though? Okay, let's just keep going down. You want us to keep going down the tunnel? Tell us Based off of what makes it look radio. good for them? You think? Give us a little robot command. Well, it's not a radio. Whatever it is, I don't think. It uses environmental readings. Okay, all right. Well, we've done it. That was a long walk. We started at the top, and now we're here. Hello? Can one of you use this device to communicate with me? Hello? If there's somebody here with us right now, friendly or Hello? not, show us a sign you're here. Hello? Kill, kill us. Kill both of us. I would prefer that one. Ah, kill us. Uh, maybe not that Please. <laughs> kill us. Kill us. Hello? S snap our necks. God. Yeah, both of us in tandem just dropping like a sack of rocks. I do not <laughs> want a neck snap on camera. Should we walk back up? What? Well, the ov oh, the ovulus is up. farting. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, we didn't catch any of that. You're gonna have to speak a lot clearer. I'm sorry, what was that? You know what, I'm gonna- Hold on, I think my ovulus is talking too. Bruh. I changed it into a word. Do that, do that. Okay. Oh, fuck! What? <laughs> it just said leave. It just turned it on and it just said leave. Where, Disease. where did it say that? Now that's true. Where did- Is that how you died? Where Simple did it yes say no that? Here. Literally where? We're not going to show you, but it did. It super did it. Can you tell us your name? It super did it, guys. Oh, we just have it set on a lady voice, right? It's not necessarily. What'd she say? Complete. Hot. Complete. What does that mean? I'm going to turn this off in about 10 seconds if you don't start answering my questions here intelligently. <laughs> nice. Get some cardio in. <laughs> King? No, oh, now don't try and stroke the ego here. We the king. kings of ghost hunting. Jog king, jog. <laughs> Get that and cardio now we move in. To the final phase of the hunt, our individual investigation of the entire five-story building. Grab your diapers. Grab your diapers. I'll be. <laughs> You're gonna be fine. I'll yeah. be all right. Yeah, I'm gonna probably need the diapers. Are you gonna go in every single room? I don't think I could poop that much. Excuse That's me? That's not what I meant. Are you going to... Oh, yes. This is honestly the one of the few places that I find the idea of investigating individually a little unnerving. If I were you, I would not be doing well. 
I really wouldn't. I really wouldn't. I really wouldn't. Yeah, it's gonna suck. I feel oh. crazy right now. I want everyone to know. You have six different it. devices rolling on you right now. Yeah, I feel yeah. fucking nutty. Let's move, let's move, let's move. Walkie check. <laughs> Good check. It's time, I'm ready. It's time to do the solos. Yes, it seems it is. Well, you look great. I gotta say, I like this rig. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it's liking you, too. Yeah. You have six different things recording on you. You have three microphones, three cameras, and uh, one big, ugly old head. And I have a walkie. Bro, he looks like well, a guy who wants to skateboard Anyways, but has a helicopter uh, you mom. You know the deal. You go inside. The last 10 minutes, I'll probably tell you to do some actual investigating over the walkie. Okay. And then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to hide that walkie somewhere deep within the bowels of Waverly Hills Sanatorium for my special little friend, Ryan Bergara, to track down on his own. That's right. And then once I find your walkie, that's when my time starts for my individual. This is fun. This is fun. This is going to be fun, Ryan. That's one way to describe it. All right, everybody. I'll see you later. Bye. Don't hide it somewhere too shitty, please. We'll see. I it's don't the know. first time. Just don't be a dick about it. We'll see. I mean, it's already horrific enough. Goodbye, Ryan. He's going to be a prick. He's 100% going to be a prick. For sure. Obviously, that's a pretty loud, scary doorway. I got to hit up the body shoot. <laughs> Come on, folks. Every bit of that building is a nightmare show. And I, uh, you know, if you told um, me five, six years ago when I was here the first time that I'd eventually be doing this by myself, I'd probably say, yeah, sure. Yeah, that sounds about right. I might black out. Ghosts, this is the series premiere of Ghost Files, a show dedicated to files of you. So really the best thing you could do is pop out of the darkness. Oh, you'll be beloved on YouTube.com. Uh, no one wants to piss themselves on camera, especially while you're wearing a stupid helmet. It's just not a good look. I'll be mocked on the internet forever. Leaving Waverly Hills pissing and crying. Anybody hear me up there? No, I don't think we're getting any reception down here, but we are mercifully making our way to oh the- Oh my God, he's, he's being taken. I expected this would be uneventful, but it was a bit of a personal challenge to walk down to the bottom of the body chute. Maybe I'll they just blocked off this part. They the can't get in there. At the end of the body shoot, just so that he's got to come. Down. Percy, if we were going back, be half bad. do you think he could hear me? Right if now? I had like six years to do Ryan this, I would have like tried okay? to get into the other side of the body shoot. Freak him out a bit. Ah! I'm surprised he didn't do something stupid like, "Oh, there's so much blood." You know, that's classic. I'm gonna hurry solely because this takes for fucking ever. Ugh, Jesus Christ. Shane to Ryan. Ryan, did you copy that? I did copy that. Could you go to the third floor? I want you to talk to Timmy. Shane to Ryan, that's a breach on the third floor. I've reached the third floor. <laughs> Ask Timmy if he wants to play. And uh, locate one of the blue balls up there. Timmy? It's me. Shane Madej. I actually have always long been curious if the reason why Shane never gets anything in his solo investigations is because uh, he's an enormous D-bag. Y'all want to play a fucking game, you little punk? Or if it's because he doesn't, in fact, ask any questions when he's down there. I love kids. I love to play games. What I need you to do is roll your ball to me. So what I'm saying is, if I ask him to ask questions and he doesn't get responses... Where's my Timmy? To me! And yeah, it is. he's just an enormous <laughs> D-bag. It's just confirmed. If you don't show yourself, Timmy! I'm going to make you show yourself to me! Here's one of your balls. Found one of your balls. You don't want to throw a ball at me, I'll throw a ball at you. Hey! Whew. 16 degrees, wow. Uh, yeah, he's probably freezing his balls off. At least he's in some discomfort, you know? God, if that ball just bounced back. He's not going to get scared, but I mean... That'd be good fucking internet. It's not gonna happen. He might get hypothermia. <laughs> Can't always get what you want. I'm assuming you've hid the walkie already? No, I'm on my way to do that now. I didn't realize that was baked into my time. I'm hiding the walkie and I will be down uh, shortly after. You know, it's starting to worry me that he hasn't come back yet. That to me means he's really hiding it somewhere far. Oh, see, now this is why I'm glad I brought my dang flashlight, because now it's pitch black. My flashlight on my chest just went out. I'm a little annoyed this didn't happen when Ryan was up here, because that would have... 
<laughs> where is he hiding? My food is here. <laughs> where the fuck? This is where we are. Oh. Live dinner reaction. Oh yeah, was it really scary down there? I did actually hear some stuff for a minute Ease. that I thought you were up there, uh, like trying to prank me. So I didn't actually react to it in the moment, but it sounded like a person walking around upstairs. But I guess not. Personal challenge to you, because I, I, it was the first thing I did. You gotta walk down that body chute. You gotta. And then find that walkie. All right, you can have fun. Are you serious? Did that actually happen upstairs? Because if that didn't happen, that's your best lie you've ever come up with. No, it actually happened. It sounded like there was a person upstairs. It turns out Shane wasn't lying. Uh, do you want to play? Y'all want to play a fucking game? Did you see it? Watch again player. Do you want to play? Did you see it? <laughs> Up against the left corner of the door. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> the way he said it exactly the same. <laughs> I see literally nothing. That's a fucking window, bro. Sick. Here he goes. Here he goes. It's literally the I don't window. Know if you want to do this? Yes, you are. I mean, I mean, I, you're ready. Not a blurry image. If you shoot, <laughs> <through the line. laughs> I think you're I shoot. Oh, okay. Oh, I mean, like at the yeah, well. What do you mean, well? Like, the I mean, ghost I guess, is uh, a smudge. You, you better not have hit it in like the ceiling or some shit like that. No, no, no. It's it's pretty easy to find. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I know you don't. I really don't want to do it. <laughs> can I just can I just cop out? Can I just like not do it? It's a series premiere, Ryan. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Wow. Everyone at home could go fuck themselves. <laughs> no, you cannot. You go fuck yourself. That's what you do. So, get fucked. Take it back fuck. right now. Find the walkie. Find I'm gonna the unsubscribe walkie. her. Find the walkie. Wait. What are you doing? Which way was the body shoot again? I think the plan was to tell him where the walkie actually was. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> it's not down there at all. No, I know. He's gonna walk down there and not. Okay, find I'm gonna, him. I'm gonna go stop him. No, no, no. Let him go down there. Okay, I'm not my fear. I am stronger than my. Awesome. Fear. Oh, it's so cold. I am not my fear. I'm stronger than my fear. Down the body shoot we go. Let's go. Let's fucking go, baby. Just keep swimming. Swimming, swimming, swimming. I think I'm disassociating right now. What the fuck? Where is this walkie? I don't know why he was so intent on seeing the body shoot, but I think it's because he recognizes that it's something that he has to do for some personal growth. Okay. Is this Ryan calling my phone? That's funny. It is. Hello? I'm at the bottom of the body shoot. I'm not seeing this walkie. I think you may have misinterpreted my clue. Are you fucking kidding me? I apologize. I, what I said was, if you shoot for the moon, you'll find what you're looking for, as in fourth floor. You said it was in the body shoot. No, I said I, I, it's a personal challenge for you to go into the body shoot. Well, shit, now my time, oh, God damn it. So my time is really not gonna start until I get all the way up back to the fourth floor. I mean, we'll see. Oh, you know what? You're using me as a safety line right now. I'm not going to let you have this sort of comfort. I'll see you later, buddy. Well, he lied to me. Why would he talk in riddles? He knew this was going to waste time. That's awesome. Well, I'm going to kill him. He's going to be a ghost at Waverly. Who? I just heard him. Oh, I hear cranky little footsteps. <sighs> just keep my head straight. Oh, and some muttering. People do this all the time. The dude who works here. He does it all the time. He walks around by himself. He might be crazy. He came for the moon. What does that mean? <sighs> Go for Shane. Where is it on the fourth floor? 
You should be able to find it. Do you realize it's gonna take me forever? This this place. Doesn't is he huge. have a walkie-talkie you know, to talk to it? I'll make some noises on the walkie that'll help you find oh. it. I haven't heard. I'm okay. Talk soon. I'm coming back down in 12 minutes. I don't care. This is bullshit. This is not the agreement. Honestly, ghosts, I'm in such a shitty mood now that even if you popped out, come and find me. I'd probably just want to fight you, dude. Seriously, what the fuck? Ryan, have you died? Maybe at the end on this chair. Ryan, we will happily call the paramedics if you need us to. Where is that? Just find this walkie and tell us you are in distress. Ghost! Unbelievable. A little bit further, Ryan. You this got was it. not part of the agreement, you dick. Congratulations, darling! I'll tell you what, uh, what were we at, 12 minutes now? Seven! I fucking hope I see a ghost. I'm so angry. Okay, well, you're in 12 minutes, good luck. Oh boy, I'm so upset. I need to calm down. I can't even feel fear. I'm so angry. All right, who's down here? Just so you assholes know. I am. In Me. six minutes, there's gonna be another tall ghost joining you. I was just about to radio you. You have five minutes to tell me to do whatever you want. Uh, you got nine minutes. Excuse um, me. Why don't you call out to Timmy and uh, ask him to wrap his tiny little hands around your throat in the darkness. All right. Uh, and stand facing the wall like uh, that dude at the end of Blair Witch. <laughs> it's always fun. I hate you. <laughs> Timmy, I'd love it if you took your little tiny ghost hands and wrapped them around my throat in the dark. I'm gonna stand against this wall so I can't see you doing it. I'll turn my light off. Feels good to be back in the game, you know? Uh, a very daunting place. I got my steps in. All right, nothing happened. Just so you know, I'm coming back down now. Go up to the fifth floor. I want you to just uh, go into that 502 room. Then you can come back down. I'm gonna do that. But I want you to know that you broke the rules here. Anyway. I am going to kill you. All right, I'm on the fifth floor. Uh, can you grab that candy bar and bring that down as proof? Gross. Oh no, the rage is starting to subside and now the fear is coming back. Ooh, my eyes are starting to play tricks on me. I thought I saw somebody right there, but I'm not gonna stay to fire now. Peace out, bitch. This series is about challenging him, you know? I'm challenging myself to want ghost evidence. Oh, the rage started to wear off at exactly the right time. In a weird way, Shane actually did me a big favor. He gave me a, an enemy. And I'm challenging him to be the bravest ghost hunter who ever lived. He already is, we know this, but we really got to scare the hell out of him. <laughs> How'd you do? I'm gonna murder you. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. What do you mean? I gave you, a, I gave you all the clues. There w <sighs> Let's just go home. Okay. Let's go home. Let's go home. Uh, God damn, it's good to be a ghost hunter. For more than 100 years, pain has echoed through time within the walls oh, of yeah? Beverly Hills Sanatorium. That. Did we actually capture humming in the morgue? Nope. And could this actually be a figure behind Shane? That's a window. Our job as investigators is to collect and present questions, possibilities. Interpretation, however, solely belongs with you. But for our part, Waverly Hill Sanatorium can now be locked away in the ghost box. Yo, very cool. Oh, wow, they're looking for you. Oh, epic. Oh, what? Hey, everybody. Hope ah! you enjoyed that episode of Ghost Files. If you haven't heard, we'll be answering your questions and breaking down evidence a little bit more on our weekly after show every Wednesday Ghost Files Debrief. That's right. So submit your questions in the comments below. And if you'd like to see episodes a whole day early, swing by patreon.com slash watcher. Farewell. Oh my goodness.
Oh my goodness gracious. Is there another? There's two more. Oh, surely we watched the other two. There's an ad about to play though, so I'm gonna take it the time to, to take a PP. Be back. Wait. Oh, debrief. Wait a minute. Wait, they have like a separate show where they, I guess that's what the announcement was. Coming in the morgue, a full bodied apparition, grab a snack and help us unpack all that and more. It's time for Is the series premiere of Ghost Files Debrief. Is this? Thank you for joining us. I'm Ryan Vergara, and that thing over there is my colleague Shane Madey. Shane. Hello. Each week here on Debrief, we're going to be taking a look at our most compelling evidence, behind the scenes moments, and answering your burning questions. And this episode of Debrief is sponsored by Case Define. Hey, it's me, Shane. You know, from Ghost Files. I'd like to take a moment to thank I Flatter, and then looking at my phone. Huh? I will be scheduling one on one soon. So yeah. if you're watching this, employees of Watcher, keep that in mind. But uh, happy you guys all saw it. I'm going to really enjoy watching all of the comments and the feedback over the weekend. Speaking of the premiere, we got quite a bit of evidence in it. Uh, let's take a look at some of that, huh? No, we got a lot of, ev of evidence. We got, yeah. we got a lot of evidence. A lot of and evidence. you know what? Without further ado, yeah, let's get into our first section of debrief evidence. Let's start with that humming that we heard in the morgue. Can we play that clip? <laughs> Take it away. I'm trying to figure out what felt weird. My fucking pillow for my chair wasn't here. Are you hearing that? Are you hearing that? It was like something fell off. Tell you what. Why don't we move to the spirit? Fart. Yeah. 
tell you what. That's a hum, folks. One of many times throughout this series where Ryan is so locked in his own brain no, with would... fear, your fear cage, fear cage, that I had to point out moments to you, which I'm trying to do as a, you know, I think I think I want to preserve a little bit of your fear this time. So yeah. I've seen some people in the comment, obviously this is not me just saying, I swear, I still don't believe in ghosts. Um, I've seen a lot of people who say, well, even Shane was scared by those things. I wasn't because I don't believe in ghosts. But I, I mean, you say it in the app, you do say like, if I were to believe in ghosts, I would certainly be scared by that right now. Exactly right. And I would be if I believed in ghosts, but I don't. Alas, so. you don't. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't. But um, when I'm stuck in my alas. fear funnel, it is helpful. It's that nice to point it out to you and let you marinate in it without doing like a little, ooh, I bet it's a little horse walking by outside. I will say that I did hear the first hum. I didn't hear the second The hum. second hum, right. The second yeah. hum no, I did you were not attuned. Hear. You were attuned. The second hum was a little more smaller. It, it was like, Oh. Yeah, the first one's like, <laughs> and this one was like, yeah. oh. It was like the noise that, that lady makes when she drops the heart off the Titanic. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it Maybe like it was that. that lady. Could have been her. She probably got tuberculosis. I would love to hear what you do think it is. Uh, you know, it's it's uh, the thing about Waverly. Last time we were there, and this time the was, audio intern was watching the open. turtle it's humping a, a croc video. Building. There's a chance it was a door moving around or. Wind. <laughs> Sorry. Um, a classic. Wind. For, everyone loves that old unsolved classic. I mean, there's it's a thousand wind. things it could be before it would ever be a ghost. But we didn't hear that hum anywhere else I in the know, investigation, and it was in the moment when we asked for something to hum. Yeah. And it's in a place where people have also heard humming that sounded like that hum. I know. It was great. It was baller to get that in the first room in the first episode. That is crazy. You'll see, I'm sure there's other episodes this season where we don't get as much evidence. It was very fortuitous that oh, this was our series bothering premiere, me today. And it was an absolute banger when it came to, you know, clunks and clunks. That's true. We're always going to show you what we do get. And uh, sometimes that's not a lot. And you, you might see that pop up throughout the season. But this first episode, certified banger. Anyways, let's move to our next piece of evidence. Uh, we have the dog bone. REM pod session. Can you tell us what happened to you? How about Wolf. this? Oh, Jesus. Whoa, what's going on? Is that you by the pod? Step away from it if it's you. Oh, shit. Okay, if that was you again, could you please step back towards the uh, bone, please? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Uh, step away now. Can you step away now, please? Step away from the bone. And that was that. Pretty cool responses here. We need to get that response from a, a new piece of tech. Well, the thing is, with these kind of devices, you're always looking for things to be timely and respond in a way that seems intelligent. And in this particular case, Student. I felt like that was very much something that was convincing that I was talking to something and they were communicating to me. Um, I like the REM pod because I like the fact that you could demonstrate how it works with a human, showing them kind of break that field. So do you legitimately think the REM pod was a, a ghost of a, a dog? Or it could, or could it, it was so intelligent, it could have been maybe a, a person crawling around on the ground I think on it's, I think some puppy play. No, well, no, I don't think they need to be crawling on the ground to, to make the REM pod go off. I think I it was the guy who fell down the shaft with the dog. Oh, okay. I don't think man. the dog is like saying, like hearing me say, step towards that if you understand yes. And the dog's like, Okay. My God. Step away. You got it. He's not doing that. I was imagining like a bloodhound too. Big That's cool. Ears. Um. Um. Yeah. The the REM pod. Uh, it's interesting. It's a fun toy for folks like you. You know, with the with the cracks in your brain. I mean, you can see <laughs> when somebody is getting near it. It has it picks yeah, it up. Yeah, cool. it's cool. they're not. Fun. I don't. I know. It's. Yeah. And there are other locations where we use it throughout the season where absolutely nothing happens. So, yeah, it's nice. Fun, fun I think, little toy for you to lose your mind, you know? I forgot this is the I show think it's, where my blood boils. <laughs> I think it's interesting it's that the, they the, did the, the whole Ghost season and now episode, they're talking the about it. Just saw, uh, that's the one where we're kind of cordial. It's in this show where the gloves really come off. Yeah, I mean, I'll still be doing this over here. I'm a little more respectful on Ghost Files just for the sake of having a good time, but uh, I'll still be insufferable over here. That's good to know. That's interesting how they like. Uh, let's move on to the Estes Spirit Box session. Uh, there was a moment, and this is kind of what was fun about, you know, this episode, was there were so many things that happened that we didn't actually yeah, you know what I mean? react to everything that happened. And this is one of those instances, I'm over there, I'm saying the things that I'm Answer hearing, people's I can't questions? hear any of the questions that Shane is asking. Uh, I believe I say, uh, what is that? 
You know what? Let's just show the clip. Okay. Uh, what is that? Uh, this is a, an Osmo. It's a sort of like a gimbal. Box. Yeah, sorry, my Osmo is be... What the fuck are you doing, Osmo? So you can see in the clip, I say, what is that? And then Shane goes, oh, Osmo. And then it says box. Box. Which is like what the Osmo kind of looks like. And then the Osmo fails, which is just like oh. a really cool moment that I obviously I couldn't see that because I couldn't even hear you. So like there's no way I would be able to point that out. That's true. And even in watching the edit, it didn't occur to me. And it was actually uh, Mark, our director, who was like, that's a little weird that it says box. And then it shuts off after you know getting a response. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, you know, in, in defense of other things, the, uh, Osmos, t I mean, those things are garbage. They fail all the time. We don't use it after episode one, right? <laughs> it, it, it does call it box, though. Yeah, cool. There's a countless uh, behind the scenes oh. of us on Unsolved of me going, come on, you little piece of shit. That's true. That's true. That. No, that's fair enough. You know what? That's fair enough. Yeah. And I'm not, you know, I'm not. I, Still I, exciting. Also, I got to say, love the Estes method. I know a, a lot of people were very excited for us to do that. I had the time of my life doing it. We do it uh, several times throughout the season. Always a blast. No, it's a, it's, it's a way for the, I guess you said it in the episode, for it to be uh, tolerable. We, I think we both kind of tried different flavors throughout the season. And this first one, I was going really aggressive because I really couldn't hear anything. So I was trying to project. I think later in the yeah. season, I take more of a.